Hello there and welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video I will going to talk about the lookup ClickSense function. So lookup is a very helpful function when you need to look up the value from the previously loaded table. So let's see a quick example. So over here what do we have is basically the product list or a product table and the customer order data. So over here we have product ID which is a matching ID, matching field in both the tables and let's say we want to pull the category information into the order data. So how we can do that? So for that we will going to utilize the lookup function. So after star I will put comma and I will say lookup and in the lookup I will first give the product ID field that this is the field product ID. No, I guess if I just look at it, syntax, field name, match field name. All right. So field name is the category. Category. That's why I was thinking category. And the match field name is the product ID. Product ID. ID, capital ID. Otherwise, it will throw an error. And then this product ID. So what I'll do is copy this paste it. Since it is part of this table, I don't need to wrap it around the single quotation. And then the table name is the product list. So I will just copy this and paste it over here and give it a name as category ID. Looks like the category ID over here. So yeah, I guess if I hit save and then since we don't need the table, I have already mentioned like drop table product list over here. So what it will do, as you can guess, it will going to pick up the category based on the product ID come by comparing the product ID, which is here and this particular product ID, which is here and give us the table. So let's load it and click close, come to analysis and uh, let's create a table. And in that, uh, let's keep on adding the information. So what do we have is the product ID and uh, dimension. Then let's add category ID. Then let's add customer ID. All right. Let's add invoice ID. And I guess the last one units. So we get the information that we need, like the category ID for the respective customer. So for product ID three, we have, you have three, two times product ID. So you get two times category ID. And uh, that is what we were expecting when we tried to look it up from the product table. So that's about uh, how you can uh, do the lookup from already previously loaded table. Now there is another lookup function within ClickSense, which is apply map. And that is slightly faster than the lookup function. But for that, you need to create a specific mapping table, which I will explain you. But the high level difference is that suppose uh, you want the earlier table to be to be present along with the lookup information, then you don't need to drop this table. However, in case of apply map, you need to or that mapping table is by default dropped. So that's the basic difference. And uh, based on the scenario, we can decide whether we need lookup or we need apply map. But that's about it. And I'll meet you in the new video with the new topic.